We've had a couple of guests on this week to talk about just how hot the home buying market is right now. And if you're thinking about selling your home and you want to stand out from the pack and get the best price possible, you might want to consider staging. And when it comes to interior design on this show, we have one name that comes to mind. That's Trevor. Trevor Hill with Trevor, Trevor Hill Design. Welcome back to the show. <gasps> yeah, thanks for having me. Um, you hey, can hear so me okay, right? Because remember last time we had you on and you couldn't hear me? You just, you just took it. You're just like the third host of North Dakota Today. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh my gosh. I got, I posted it on Facebook and so many people thought that was hilarious. Like, I mean, I was like talking to myself, I felt like, but luckily you guys queued in all of the um, photos. And then I thought, Lisa, the funniest part was at the very end when you were talking, I was just smiling at the screen and you <laughs> said something funny and I reacted. So I almost thought, do people think that like I'm making it up, but I can't hear her at all. <laughs> well, you're always smiling and always laughing. So I love it. And I was excited to have you back on today. Uh, staging is something that a lot of us, you know, have heard of. We see it on HGTV, but we haven't maybe always done it ourselves. So just give us kind of a quick overview of what that means. Yeah, so really it is, um, it's staging the space. There's so many different components to it. I mean, that would almost take all day to explain. <laughs> But like you need to neutralize the space, make sure that the space planning is proper for the room that you're doing. Yeah, that's a great example of it right there. You can see how large that living room area is and it's so long. So for example, in that space, you would put a long sectional that has four chairs in there if you can see that. And a lot of people will walk into a space if it's unfurnished, unstaged, they look at it and they think, oh, that's a huge room. Uh, I don't know what to do with it, which actually, oddly enough, will turn them away. Or the opposite happens where they walk into, let's say, a smaller size bedroom and they think, this bedroom is way too small. But what they don't realize is a, a queen bed, for example, doesn't take that much room, really. And once it's in the space, they realize, oh, there's plenty of space in here. We could still put a dresser, et cetera, et cetera. So, I think that that's one of the biggest things that staging helps with. And then that's why they're able to get their top dollar when um, in the biggest bids is after they have the space staged professionally. I mean, it doesn't have to be professionally. I mean, you can hire a professional just for an hour to walk through. I've done that plenty of time with real estate agents. And, um, and then the homeowners take it upon themselves because then they can use um, stuff that they currently have. They can buy stuff that they might use in their next home and just use for staging in the home to sell it. So um, yeah, the market is hot. And even though things are selling, you want to make sure that you're getting the most for your money. I, geez, I sound like a real estate agent now. <laughs> no, you do. <laughs> Am I, am I switching professions? <laughs> Designer slash, yeah, realtor. You do it all. You do it all. Okay, so it sounds like you have some pictures to kind of show us, uh, you know, what some staging designs might look like. You bet. Yep. So there's a couple different ones. Yeah, this one's great. Uh, this one is um, uh, Craftwell or Chris Holly. Uh, townhome that's near downtown actually and we have a few photos from this but yeah just making sure you can even see the stools that I used in this photo that's a um, counter height the stools I wanted to make sure the backs didn't go too high up because there's four stools around that peninsula of that island and um, and if the seats were too high, the backs, it would almost cut it off a little bit. So it was really crucial, um, making sure the scale of furniture is correct for the space as well. Um, because the thing is, is the person buying the home, they too can get that same scale. And in fact, when it's staged, they could even take out a tape measure if they're buying the home and see what the size of the different furniture pieces are in there. But yeah, I love that home. And then it's fun to add in a little bit of color, um, you know, just really add some interest to it. So you don't have to have accent walls. We've talked about that just in the design side, but you can have accent art pieces that really make a fun um, eye catching pop. Yeah, I like that idea too. Otherwise it's almost just too, too blank of a slate for people right. to picture themselves living there. Okay, so how did you design this area? Yeah, so this you can see there's two coffee tables that are uh, nested here. I love those. And and then there's an accent chair in the corner. And then what you can't see on the left is um, there's actually a, 
um, a sofa table right there or a council table. And I put that there specifically because you could have an entertainment stand, a fireplace, you know, whatever. So it's really showing, I know I kind of just mentioned this, but it's really showing the scale of what you can fit in there. And then a full size sofa right there. And then of course the dining room is, yeah, right there. I mean, with six chairs around it, and honestly you could squeeze in a few poofs too and get extra ample seating. Um, but it really showcases the size of the the space. I wish, actually I should have sent you some when it was empty, just so you could see um, it's a really good sized townhome. But before the furniture in there is in there, you walk around and you think, I'm not, so sure you know how large it is yeah here's another townhome these ones are um are down in their co it's called the cove they're down on 52nd and uh these ones are so large too but i mean look at you could do jumping jacks around <laughs> around this dining true. area but yeah so in staging i feel like if somebody walked in there now notice all of the areas for um bar stools right there or counter stools I feel like if you walked in there and it wasn't staged, you would just notice that the sink area comes out. Oh, there's a place for a bar. And then, oh, this is where the um, the range is, you know, under the hood. And not really think about, oh, my gosh, look at We can get six people sitting around the kitchen. And, I mean, Lisa, you know this, that people love congregating around the kitchen. <laughs> it is. It's the heart of the home for sure. It definitely is. Yeah, and then here, two full-size sofas, a settee, and a gigantic coffee table all in one living room area. So if this wasn't in here, I know I'm almost like a broken record, Lisa, <laughs> but you just wouldn't understand the scale of it. So that's why it's so important um, with that space planning. I was going to say, and looking at that room specifically, I would be like, what am I supposed to do with that room? <laughs> okay, and oh, but this is a good example. You talked about this. Seeing the bed and the uh, the nightstands kind of helps you judge the size of a bedroom. Exactly, and then look at, I even put a bench. That's not a built-in bench, but it almost looks like it, but under the window. So it's just so much seating in there. And then what you also can't see in this off to the right is an area with um, some accent chairs too. I did, sorry, I didn't send you over that photo. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then this is a outdoor patio area. Again, I mean, the scale is so important. And really that, um, like I said, you can, I mean, you don't have to hire a professional. You can even, I mean, Google it and see what some of those criteria are. You know, neutralize the space, take out family photos, um, add, you know, you can make it trendy if you want. I mean, because it not, you're just talking about furniture and accessories. You're not talking about the actual space. So it helps people visualize and that's the biggest key is visualizing it. So that's why that space planning is so important. So fun to visit with you today and to kind of see some great examples. Trevor, Trevor Hill Design, thank you so much for talking staging with us today. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up next here on North Dakota Today, the passing of Natalie's Law in North Dakota was a huge step forward. Now Natalie and her family continue to support children who are also victims of sexual assault.